Welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry to keep you waiting this long, but I've been busy doing a third attempt getting from Norway to Itterkortumit in Scorsby Sound, Greenland. I love it! <laughs> At my first attempt, the Scorsby Sound was packed with ice. The second time, I was stopped by COVID already in the Faroe Islands. Uh, they said that I, I tested positive. As I strongly believe that consistency will get you success, I set out for yet another adventure to try reaching this goal. Some weeks before departure, I had spent a couple of weeks in hospital due to some flaring of my annoying ulcerous colitis. Eventually, my doctor said that I was good to go. So with no time to waste, I wiped the dust of my 46-year-old Contessa 35, Tessie, to give it another shot. So here we go. I have now sailed all the way from Norway, via Shetland and the Faroe Islands to the huge volcanic wonder of Iceland to try my third attempt reaching Greenland. I'm not completely unfamiliar with this island. Back in 2020 I had my first attempt but ice put an effective stopper for it. I have to skip Greenland this time because of uh, it's packed with ice. Therefore I set my course towards Iceland. and really got to see how beautiful this place really was. What amazed me the most was the sheer size of this island and how different the nature was as you passed it along the way. And before we begin, Remember you can subscribe to my channel to get a note every time I upload a new video. And if you leave a like or make a comment, it will help my videos get up in the YouTube algorithms, which is motivating. Okay, so here we go. I've now reached Reykjavik on Iceland and was now preparing for the next leg. Hello and welcome back again. It's time for another, uh, another leg. We're going from Reykjavik this fabulous harbor and we're going over to Grundafjordur. That's about 105 nautical miles away. And the winds are a little bit challenging on the nose more or less, but I think we're gonna manage to, uh, to keep the nose on the course line as, as good as possible and, and get around the corner of, uh, of the big uh, volcanic mountain and uh, then into Grundafjord. And the health is, uh, well, it's, a, it's good. It's a little bit pain here and there, but it's not uh, any more than I can cope with. So uh, I think it's important. It's, I'm, I'm glad to be here on my boat because then I'm active. I'm running around and all those things to do. If I would stop this and go home just <laughs> and give up, that would be absolutely terrible. So that's, that's, that's not gonna happen. Uh, you have to cope with some challenges in life and some adversity, not to give up too easy. Yeah, and also a big thanks to uh, Rolly Tosker for providing me with a brand new Janoker. I blew the old one up in uh, the North Sea. Some weeks ago and they, in a very quick manner, uh, managed to, 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 to produce another one with the logos and everything and uh, it's now on my boat and also big thanks to Tura from uh, from Reykjavik to uh, to uh, to settle with uh, with the postage and uh, declaration and bringing it over to to my boat so nice to meet you okay let's go so on we went for chapter 5 Greenland? Uh, no I'm going to Grundafjord oh. and uh, yeah that's a couple of more stops before Greenland <laughs> We even got cheered on by a passing boat saying, Go Norway! And with those words in mind, it was just to hoist the mainsail, set the course, leave Reykjavik behind, and aim for the big 
Icelandic Ocean again. Just saving some current while the Watton Sea is loading the batteries. It's some job getting down on the boat's heel and jumping around. So I have I have a little issue with my butt after the surgery, so I can either st I, ca I can I can't sit down. I have, to, I have to lie down or stand, that's fine, but not sit, yeah. but that's fine, so I just have to watch the rudder inside, I take it easy and go out and check soon. The wind was rapidly picking up, luckily I've already taken in two reefs in the mainsail so I was ready to get into the weather. But before we take the plunge, let me also tell you about my sponsor NordVPN, which has followed me all the way from Norway now. NordVPN provides the best online security you can find on the market today. Usually internet speed is slowed down by using these kinds of services, but this one provides the best speed on the market without issues. I sail overseas all the time and spend many hours in port waiting for weather. Sometimes my favorite show is not available in my present country. With NordVPN you can easily switch your online position over to the country where the show is available and enjoy it from where you are. And with 5800 servers in 59 countries it's nice to know your online security is always safe from any intruders wherever you are. So head over to nordvpn.com slash Erik to get your exclusive NordVPN deal offering 4 months free after subscription. It's risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. This is 11 miles of Reykjavik now and, uh, and you can still see the volcano of Snefjellsjökul uh, 50 miles away, that's amazing, the sight is very clear. We're just jumping along. Shortly after, a cold gale picked up, creating even choppier seas on the nose. I decided it was time for a third reef in the mainsail to maintain balance and speed towards the volcano. Due to pains and some exhaustion, I rested as much as I could while monitoring the outside environments along the way. Luckily it didn't take longer than 15 to 20 minutes to get the energy back. Being out in these conditions is for me providing and creating energy by itself. Tiger won't stay up anymore. The boat is healing too much for him. Oops. <laughs> I thought I explained the logo uh, for you. I didn't decide to just uh, try to look, uh, try to make it look like a cool Viking. You know, it's just a little bit deeper meaning to it. And the meaning is that it, it's supposed to look uh, a little bit like a demon and also, uh, of course, like a Viking. And uh, 
you know, the demon sits maybe on your left shoulder, trying to uh, restrain you from uh, what you're trying to achieve. He's giving you adversity and uh, he don't want you to succeed. He's telling you that you can't do this. You're not gonna make it. And then you have the Viking sitting on the other side, other shoulder, and he is just the opposite. He's gonna fight the demon until he reaches his goal, whatever it takes. And that's also the way I live my life. Every time uh, I get I get an adversity, I try to fight that as good as I can instead of just giving up and go home. Because we need we need the devil, you know? We need somebody to, to uh, make life difficult for us because the success tastes so much better when you achieve it, when you overcome the adversity. It's like Batman and uh, the Joker. Batman wouldn't be anything without uh, the Joker. So I guess it all comes down to your mindset. Who do you want to listen to? The devil or the Viking? I guess it all comes down to if you want to smoke or not. Ooh, <laughs> amazing. Oh, almost 30 knots. 11 reported, 70 knots reported and it's uh, Almost 30 knots now. Look at this. Freaking crazy. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> Whoa. I need to pick up my outlook. <laughs> it's falling down all the time. So, it's been out there for one, one month now. So, it deserves, deserves to sit in a little bit cozy environment together with the cap. Oh, it's a lot of movements of the boat. So, we are. Uh, yeah, nearly getting close to uh, to the to the big volcanic volcanic mountain now, and then we're offshore. And uh, <laughs> I wonder what what treats the ocean has for us when we get those uh, really offshore. The waves are pretty uh, pretty angry, and nasty in here, and this is kind of inshore, and uh, because it's blowing from land. But when we get outside, it will it will probably be a different ball game. We'll see. Oh, there's that beauty again. Look at that. There's nothing else to do than enjoy life in the ocean. Happily, not knowing of my developing Crohn's disease, I enjoyed my not so healthy diet and watching a movie, hoping for the wind to turn. Wow, the wind suddenly died. Eight knots. And we're going this way now because of the wind, and, but we really want to go this way. So if this is the wind, I would love to try to go by engine in the right way against the, against the wind just to see, just to save some time. Let's see. And suddenly the wind is back. <laughs> took out some more sails and now we are heading straight for the mountain. I've been looking at that mountain all day <laughs> and I have some more hours to look at it. We have to tack our way all around, all around the Snöfjells Jökul now. That's fine, as long as we are getting forward. 
suddenly the wind changed again, so now we can suddenly sail on our course. So let's see how long that goes for. This place is full of surprises. And then, full speed, full throttle again. <laughs> I don't understand this. Just fucking with me. Wow. All through the night, we had to struggle with constantly shifting winds, forcing us to tack in every direction, not leading us anywhere we wanted to go, hour after hour. This resulted in no sleep and limited resting. It didn't do any good to fall over bumping my already very tested behind either. I hit my ass <laughs> in the cockpit. I need, I need, I need Tiger to comfort me. <laughs> All right. Oh, we're way offshore now. We're going in the westerly direction and we have to tack now. And I hope the next line will hit the end of the, the edge of the, of the uh, mountain so we can maybe we can go clear I don't think so but we'll see what happens oh, mm. Ooh, <laughs> but before we tack we need some food ah. Before tacking, I just wanted a five minute rest. Being exhausted, I fell into deep sleep before waking up three hours later to the sounds of no wind and the boat lying almost still. Being way off course and way off shore. I've been tacking for many hours now and uh, yeah the wind died out so I'm gonna start the engine and head to Grundafjord. Okay <laughs> and I'm tired again. No sleep. No sleep for 24 hours, 22 hours. Okay let's go. Something to keep me awake. Coming into calmer waters with Snefjellsjökull as a background was relieving. The spectacular view occurring as we came closer to our goal made it very clear where we were on the map. Okay, so we're getting close to the beautiful Tjertjufjell outside Grundarfjordur. And it's time to take the sails down, it's just hanging around. And we okay. A calm breeze led us deeper and deeper into the vast landscape formed by mountains and rocks with shapes I had never seen before. Eagerly I took down all the sails and set my bow in towards land. I was ready to explore what this was all about. And it did not disappoint. Surrounded by endless fields of green grass, blue oceans and snowy mountains, 
lies the beautiful little village of Grunda Fjordur. Even waterfalls have searched its way to this place through kilometers of rivers running from the mountains. It's a spectacular sight greeting you when you slide into the bay and past the enormous majestic mountain of Tichtjufjell. Peaking at 463 meters and acts like a guard protecting the village of Grundafjordur. Maybe against trolls, sea monsters and giants. Wow! So that's Grundafjordur. Uh, 24 hours sailing upwind. A lot of uh, a lot of beating, and uh, but it's so it's so relieving and fun when you get to this place here. It's, it's just amazing to see the to see the big uh, Kirkefjell, Kirkefjell. It's uh, just astonishing to, to, to see it in real life after just looking at picture again. So now I'm just gonna relax again. I'm gonna find myself a a shop, have a good meal, and. Uh, I think I'm gonna have a good rest. The time is 12:30 uh, now, so it's a, a bit on the day. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to sleep. But uh, if not, I'm just gonna stay awake and do something else. All right, let's find our way inside here. It was a thrill to finally get into still waters and tie up to a big, stable concrete floating pier. Turn off the engine. So that's it. And have a walk around this beautiful place to get to know it for real. I even got an everyday outdoor bath at the local swimming pool. But fresh in mind, I knew Tessie already was good to go for the next chapter. To fight our demons. Oh. Lurking around along our way towards the next and beautiful goal on this endlessly vast island called Isafjordur. This was also the last port of call before casting off to Scorsby Sound, Greenland, only a couple of hundred miles away now. As usual, things did not seem to go quite as planned. <laughs> Come on! Oh, fuck! Mm. Thank you so much for the amazing support you people have been showing through getting my NBJS merchandise, PayPal donations and supporting on Patreon. Links to all this in the video description. This sailing adventure could never have been done without it. Also, follow me on Facebook and Instagram for more news and updates. And of course, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and see you soon in Chapter 6. Eric.